Happy Wednesday all. So I am Kia. I am the professor for this emotional intelligence course and I have been getting some really good questions about self-talk and how to complete the learning journal for this uh, unit. So I wanted to provide a quick overview of what self-talk is because I know sometimes when we read about self-talk it doesn't always make the most sense, right? So self-talk is literally kind of the voice in our heads. We normally narrate our day or narrate what's going on in our life. So for instance, when I am preparing to do a video for you all, the self-talk that goes through my head, the things that I don't say out loud are things like, hmm, I wonder how this video equipment works. That is a self-talk sentence or, hmm, I wonder if um, it'll be clear when I uh, make this video whether the students will understand. That's a thought inside of my head that I didn't necessarily say out loud and that is what self-talk is. So this journal assignment requires you to write down your self-talk not to analyze your self-talk, not to define what self-talk is. This is a journal that does not require any external resources or citations. You are simply required to do your peer assessment of the most re uh, recent writing assignment and then to come back and write down what you thought about, what feelings you had, and what judgments you had while you were doing your assessment. So an example would be if I am assessing Susie's written assignment, I might have a thought of, wow, Susie wrote a lot of things in her assignment. That's a thought. I might also have a thought, wow, I didn't remember to do this component of the assignment. I hope I don't get any <laughs> points taken off for that. That's an example of self-talk of my thoughts assessing Susie's assignment. So let's give some examples of feelings I might have. So a feeling might be why I'm assessing Susie's assignment is, oh my goodness, I feel really nervous, a feeling. I feel really nervous that I don't seem to have these components in my assignment that Susie has. That's an example of self-talk of an emotion or feeling. An example of a judgment that we might make in our self-talk, same example, I'm assessing Susie's assignment and I say, hmm, it seems like Susie didn't really understand the assignment. That's a judgment that I am making and I'm not saying it out loud to anyone else and so therefore it is self-talk. All of those examples of self-talk or what I would write in my learning journal. And I might write more of them because I still have to meet the um, word parameters, the word count parameters for the assignment, which is 400 words at minimum. And then I'm also going to write about what I learned. So an example of what I learned, so essentially this is reflection, I would reflect on the fact that, wow, I had a lot of judgments about Susie while I was doing this assignment. Or, wow, I didn't notice that I felt really anxious and nervous a lot of the time when I'm doing uh, an assessment assignment. Those are all the things that I learned, and I would write those as well as part of my learning journal. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you have any questions, again, feel free to reach out to me before the deadline for the learning journal. Okay, gang, have a great Wednesday. Bye.